going to talk about today is ungrouping to subtract. When we were in school, we used to call it borrowing. Um, I like ungrouping better because we're not going to give it back. We're taking a number apart to use it. Again, we use proof drawings for this, place value drawings, so the kids can actually see what it is that they're doing. One of the very first mistakes kids will make is they'll draw both numbers. When you're subtracting, you don't need to do that. We're actually taking 58 away from 134 here. So we start by trying to take away 8. And how we do that is just cross them off. Problem is, I don't have 8 to take away here. Where can I get more 1's? Well, I can trade in one of these 10's. I do that by making a diagonal slash in it. I'm going to trade that 10 in for 10 more 1's. Now, if I do it over here, I need to do it over here. I used to have three tens, now I only have two of them. I used to have four ones, but now I have fourteen of them. Instead of putting the little one in front of the four, I like to cross off the four and rewrite it as fourteen. Now can I cross off eight ones? I sure can. And what I do here is I do a straight uh, horizontal line through it, just like the subtraction sign. That way I can remember that I have subtracted these, not traded them in as I did with the 10. Okay? So 14 minus 8, you can see that that is 6. Now I'm going to try to take away 5 tens. Do I have 5 tens here? No, I can't subtract then. Where am I going to get more tens? Well, I can trade in this 100 here. Kids know that 100 is really 10 tens. So again, if I do it here, I have to do it here. I used to have 100, now I've got none. I used to have two tens, but now I've got 12. Now I can subtract five of them. Again, subtraction with a straight horizontal line and crossing them off. So it looks like I've got seven left. In fact, 12 minus five is seven. I don't have any hundreds left. This place value drawing should match this number. Again, this proof drawing should prove this. I'll do another couple for you here. Again, keeping them uh, organized in groups of five really makes, oops, really makes things easier here. So, taking away 57, do I have seven ones? No. I'm going to trade in one of these. Trading in my 10 for 10 ones. So I used to have eight tens. Now I've got seven of them. I used to have two ones. Now I've got 12. Now I can cross off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Looks like I've got five left. Now, another problem kids run into is they start ungrouping like crazy when they needn't. Like in this case, I've got seven tens taking away five tens. I can do that. I don't have to ungroup, okay? Looks like I've got two tens left over. Seven minus five is two. And three hundreds minus, nine. okay, so there you go. 325 is what I'm showing here, and that's what I'm showing here. Again, you're only going to ungroup if you have to. Three ones minus two ones, that's one one left over. Five tens minus seven tens. Man, I can't cross off seven tens here, so I have to trade in one of these hundreds. Each hundred is made up of ten tens, so now I don't have two hundreds, I only have one hundred. I used to have five tens, but you can see now that I've got fifteen of them. Now I can do my subtraction. Fifteen minus seven. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter which seven you cross off. And uh, one, I have to cross off. I'm taking away a hundred here, so again, I subtract it like that. You can see this one has been ungrouped. This one has been subtracted. If you do it here, you have to do it here. 